Hello friends, uh, welcome to Learners Planet. Uh, friends, in this session we are going to discuss the graphs of uh, straight line circle, parabolas and uh, other geometric figures. Okay. In the previous session we have discussed the graphs of piecewise function that is greatest integer function, least integer function and uh, we have also discussed the graphs of rational and irrational functions. Right. So, uh, let's begin this session now. Now friends, uh, let's see the graph of a straight line. An uh, equation uh, or we can say a linear equation in two variables represents a general equation of line. Here we can see x and y, they are variables and uh, it's a linear equation, so it represents a line, right? Here it's ax plus py plus c is equal to 0. Now let's see how do we draw this line. This is the line that is ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. Now when y is equal to 0, x will be equal to minus c by a. So this is the point on x-axis when y is equal to 0, x is equal to minus c by a. Similarly, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to minus c by b. Right? So when x is equal to 0, the point will be on y-axis. So here, x is 0 and y is minus c by b. So this line is the required line or we can say ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 is this line. Right? Now, if c is 0, right, that means constant term is 0, that means ax plus by is equal to 0, that line passes through origin. That line passes through origin. It will be something like this. Okay? So, those are very simple. And friends, uh, this we call as intercept. Here, this is x-intercept. This is what? y-intercept. Length of x-intercept is what? Distance from this point to this point, that is minus c by a. Length of y-intercept is what? Distance from this point to this point, that is minus c by b. Right? Because this is what? 0, 0. That's origin. Right? So, x-intercept minus c by a, y-intercept minus c by b. Right? And when c is 0, this line will pass through origin. Here, friends, uh, we can see the line is passing through origin when the constant term is 0. Right? ax plus by is equal to 0, so the line is passing through origin. Okay? Now, x square plus y square is equal to a square is the equation of a circle and center of the circle is origin, that is 0, 0. Now, this a is what? A length of radius, right? So, this is a, this is a, this is a and this is a, right? Now, this is a positive x-axis, this is a negative x-axis. The length of of this line is a but magnitude uh, is a but sign is negative because this is what negative x-axis similarly here it is 0 a here it will be 0 minus a y coordinate is negative but the length of radius will be positive right so here in this case length of radius is what a we know that the def definition of the circle Every point on the circumference or on this boundary will be equidistant from the center, right? This length will be equal to this length, will be equal to this length, will be equal to this length, right? And we call that length as radius of the circle. So here in this case, 0, 0 is uh, the center of the circle or we can say origin is the center of the circle and A is the radius of the circle. So precisely what we can do, we can apply the distance formula, any point on the circle is suppose x, y, right? So, length between these two points will be a. So, uh, if we apply distance formula, x minus 0 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square, that is the length between these two points and it is actually uh, equ equal to square of radius, okay? That means length between these two points is radius only. So since it is square, so I have done a square of radius also. So it is x square plus y square is equal to a square. Okay, that is the equation of the circle. 
Now, what if uh, the center of the circle is not origin or not 0, 0, right? Suppose center of the circle is HK, right? Now, any point on the circle is X, Y. Now, this A is radius. That means length between uh, X, Y and HK will be A, right? Simply now, we apply distance formula. X minus H whole square plus Y minus K whole square. This is the distance between this point and this point, right, uh, square root of this. So, that will be equal to A square, right, that is the radius of the circle. So, this represents a circle whose center is at HK and the radius of the circle is A, right, if this circle is uh, not having the center at origin, okay. Next is the equation of parabola. This is Y square is equal to 4AX. Right? You might have seen the graph of y square is equal to x. It's something like this only, where a is equal to 1. Now, vertex of this parabola, that means this point is at 0, 0, that is origin. Right? Focus of this parabola is a0 and the axis of this parabola is y is equal to 0 because this is what x-axis and at x-axis y is equal to 0. Right? So, the important point over here that uh, if you wish to draw the graph of y square is equal to x, it will be like this. Right? In this case, a is equal to 1, that means focus will be at 1, 0. Right? Directrix is what? This length uh, from vertex to focus, this length is a and from vertex to directrix, this length is further a. That means vertex is the like uh, we can say middle point or center point of midpoint of this point and this point, right? So, equation of this line that will be directrix that is x is equal to minus a, okay? Here the parabola is y square is equal to minus x. In the previous case, it was y square is equal to x. Now, it is y square is equal to minus x. So, it is just opposite of uh, the previous uh, parabola, right? Otherwise, the remaining things will be same. The focus will be at minus a0. Equation of directrix will be because this is the midpoint. Now, this is on the right hand side of x-axis. So, x will be positive. So, x is equal to a. That is the equation of directrix, right? So, y square is equal to x is this way and y square is equal to minus x is this way, right? Now, this is what x square is equal to 4ay or you can say x square is equal to y graph, right? Vertex is further at 0, 0. Now, in this case, the focus will be at y axis, that is 0a, right? And similarly, in this case, directrix will be uh, the equation of, equation of directrix will be y is equal to minus a or we can say y plus a is 0. Still, the distance between vertex and focus is the same as the distance between vertex and directrix, right? So, this length is also a, this length is also a. Since we had to find out the equation, that means y coordinate is negative over here. So, y is equal to minus a, okay? So, it's x square is equal to y. And in this case, it is x square is equal to minus y type of graph, right? Remaining things are same. Here, y is equal to a is directrix, vertex at 0, 0. This length is a and this length is also a, right? But uh, since it is on the negative side of y-axis, the focus is on the negative side of y-axis, that means focus will be at 0 and minus a, okay? I hope you are getting me. Now, let's discuss uh, the graph of some basic trigonometric functions. Here, first of all, we discuss the graph of sin x, right? fx is equal to sin x. Domain is r and range. The maximum value of sin theta is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1. That means the range of sin theta or sin x is from minus 1 to 1, right? Now, nature is odd. fx is equal to sin x and f of minus x is equal to minus sin x. That means f of x is equal to minus f of minus x that means it is an odd function. Now, sin 0 is 0, right? When x is 0, y is 0, right? That means the graph is passing through origin. Now, the maximum value that is achieved by sin theta is at 90 degree when x is 90 degree and that is 1. So, this is 
pi by 2 is what 90 degree, degree so sin pi by 2 is 1 that is the maximum value achieved by sin x after that further it goes down and sin pi is 0 further 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 so this way the graph goes on right so basically you have to see this graph that it is passing through origin the maximum value and the minimum value so sin 3 pi by 2 is the minimum value that's minus 1 right and uh, it's a periodic function why we call it as a periodic function you can see that from this point to this point right the graph is going like this after uh, from this point further the graph is taking the same shape right over here also from this point to this point the graph is going like this after this point what will happen the graph will take the same shape over here right so we call it as a periodic function and period is 2 pi that means after 2 pi you can see very well over here after 2 pi the same graph will be repeated okay so this is the graph of y is equal to sin x similarly we have the graph for y is equal to cos x right minimum value of cos x is minus 1 maximum value is 1 so range will be minus 1 to 1 period is uh, quite similar to sin x that is 2 pi domain is all this uh, real numbers nature is even because cos x is equal to cos of minus x that means fx is equal to f of minus x that's why it is an even function now when x is 0 right it's y is equal to cos x when x is 0 y is equal to 1 that means the graph is not passing through origin right so the maximum value is achieved when x is 0 so that we can see over here when x is 0 y is 1 right and when x is pi by 2 that means cos 90 that is 0 so this way the graph so from this way to this way right this is one complete period okay and the minimum value is achieved at cos pi that is minus 1 okay i hope you are getting me now next is the graph of a logarithm function right that's very important friends now y is equal to log x where a is the base right and uh, for log x to be defined x has to be positive real numbers that means x has to be greater than 0 even x cannot be 0 because log 0 is not defined and you have to be careful that for negative values of x log x is not defined right that means x has to be positive real numbers right apart from that base that is a a should also be greater than 0 and a cannot be 1 or 0 right a can be a fraction but it cannot be 0 it cannot be 1 and it cannot be a negative number so domain obviously it will be from 0 to infinity but 0 is not included uh, because log 0 is not at all defined so values of or we can say range of log x will be minus infinity to infinity it's a non-periodic function now log x is not equal to log of minus x or it is not equal to minus log of minus x so log x is neither odd or nor even function okay now we can see the graph of log x over here when a is greater than 1 that means the base is greater than 1 now it seems that this line is um, on the y axis but actually it is not like that it is getting closer and closer and closer but it is it never comes on y axis right gradually the line is getting closer and closer right so and why it is happening because x is never zero so if x is never zero y cannot be uh, the the line cannot cross through the y axis obviously if x is not zero it cannot uh, intersect y axis right so you just can see the line is getting closer and closer right if you take the graph of a is equal to, uh, is greater than 1 or a is less than 1 the line is getting closer and closer to y, to y axis but it will never intersect y axis that you have to keep in your mind it will never intersect y axis so friends you must be clear about the graph of log x in case of base is greater than 1 and in case of base is less than 1 right 
I just uh, give you one example over here. Suppose it is log uh, 3 to the base 2, then the value of this expression or this uh, logarithm of 3 will be greater than 1. But if it is log uh, maybe half, I, I, I just say, and 3, then this value will be less than 1. Similarly, friends, a uh, logarithm of a fraction that is between 0 to 1 is uh, negative, right? Suppose uh, if I talk about log, uh, maybe base is 10, but if, uh, if I talk about log, say, half, then the value of this uh, log half to the base 10 will be less than, uh, I'm sorry, it will be negative, right? Getting my point? So this negative part of y, this, this y. That will be, that is achieved when x is between 0 to 1. That you can see, x is between 0 to 1, then you are getting the value of y is negative. Okay, the same thing over here. So, I hope you are clear with the basic logarithmic function. If a is greater than 1, this will be the graph. If a is less than 1, this will be the graph. And the basic properties of logarithm you must be knowing, right? Because various questions are asked, uh, frequently asked, I can say, in the uh, like competitive exams. Similarly, the next graph with us is uh, exponential function, that is y is a raised to x, right? Now, this is the graph of y is equal to a raised to x when a is greater than 1. And if a is less than 1, then this will be the graph, right? So, quite easy, if a is greater than 1, so if x increases, y increases, that we can see very well from here. And if a is less than 1, then in that case, x increases, y decreases. Okay? So this is how the graph uh, is drawn. Apart from that, um, see, whenever x is 0, y is 1, right? If x is 0, y is 1, that you can see over here. On the y-axis, if x is 0, y is 1. But, friends, y will never be 0, because a raised to x will never be 0, right? So, this line will never cut x-axis because at x-axis y is 0, but a raised to x, that is y, it will never be 0 in no condition, right? So, this line is getting closer and closer to x-axis, but it will never intersect x-axis, not intersect right similarly on both the sides so you can see it is getting closer and closer but it will never intersect okay so that's an important part now as we have drawn the graph of a raised to x similarly we can draw the graph of y is equal to e raised to x because e is actually uh, between 2 to 3 e lies between 2 to 3 that means in the graph of y is equal to a raised to x a is greater than 1, right? So, uh, the graph of a raised to x and the graph of e raised to x will be quite similar when in that case a is greater than 1 because e lies between 2 and 3, right? So, further, this line will be getting closer and closer to x-axis but it will never intersect x-axis. That you have to be very careful because in no case uh, y will be 0, right? When x is 0, y is 1 that we can see from here but in no case y will be 0, right? This is the line of y is equal to x that we can see and this is the graph of y is equal to log x, right? So, you can make the comparison y is equal to e x, y is equal to x and y is equal to log x. Now, which type of questions are asked based on the graph that we will be discussing in the next two, three sessions, right? In the next session, we will be discussing transformation and shifting of origin, right? I hope you are getting uh, the graphs. Do revise the session in the previous ones. Uh, going to be very simple topic. If you just have the basic knowledge, then also you can solve the questions based on graphs in your CAT examination. Right?